Okay, I am back. Hello, hello. I'm sorry, I did take a few days off. I ended up getting very sick and sore throat and coughing and headaches and I had to really just take some a few days off to relax. And if I end up taking a few seconds to like get a drink, please bear with me because my throat needs to stay hydrated. I'm like, it's dry every second. But I had some time to explore and I came up with a lot of different ideas and um, a better representation of what I'm really trying to get at here. I did a little bit of my research and there's something that I want to show you. If anybody's familiar with what I talked about recently, oh, and I'm sorry, I don't have an editor. When I get an editor, I promise you won't have to deal with this paper, but paper's all we got for right now. And paper's what we're going to use. But this, if anybody goes back um, a few videos ago, I was explaining what that meant to me. And I actually came across this randomly and I said, wow, this is a better representation of what I am trying to say. Anybody ever see this guy before? Kind of scary looking, right? Who, who do you, th who, who would that, what's the very first thing that comes to your mind? Like Lucifer, Satan, right? Even though that's not who it is, we're going to use this statue as Lucifer or Satan. Even though this statue, the name of it, if I butcher it, I am sorry, not my intent, but I believe it is pronounced, pronounced Baphomet. B-A-P-H-O-M-E-T. Baphomet. And Baphomet, this statue, represents witchcraft, but not only witchcraft, it also represents the duality between good and evil, light and dark, positive and negative. Everything around us is energy. Every single thing is energy. Everything. Everything. Everything is vibrating. Nothing is still. Everything is moving. Everything is a frequency. Um, every single thing that you see around you is energy. Energy. But... You need positive energy to make up negative energy. And you need negative energy to make up positive energy. You need them both. You need them both. True harmony. Duality. You need them both. This guy right here is what this represents. Now, the cool thing about this, remember I was bringing this up before? Two snakes, right? What do you see here? Two snakes and it looks like they're what? integrating each other, right? Intertwining each other. That's kind of strange. And look, we have wings as well, right? You saw that? We got wings as well. Two snakes integrating each other and we got wings. You know, we also have, I forgot to mention, we have a little dot right here, a little, a little, um, uh, at the top of this pole, whatever it is, that could also symbolize your pineal gland, aka your third eye, almost like there's one right here. Ah, huh, that's strange. I also got something else. You see this hand pointing up? And another hand pointing down, as in, as above, so below, as within, so without. Whatever you believe in your heart is going to manifest outside of you. As within, so without. I've been talking a lot about the dark world. The evil inside of us. The negativity inside of us. Now, a lot of us like to cherish and we like to... To promote the light attributes of who we are. The positive attributes of who we are. There's nothing wrong with that. However, when you tend to idolize and just worship the one side of who you are, you completely neglect the other side of who you are. Which is darkness. Which is light. Or I'm sorry, which is darkness. Which is negativity. A.K.A. evil. Everybody has it inside of them. Everybody does. It's duality. If we're talking about Lucifer and Satan here, for years upon years upon years upon years, we have been told to what? We have been told to fear it. We have been told to run in the opposite direction. We have been told that it's evil. It's out to get you. It's out to kill you. It's going to harm you. It's been abused. It's been abused. The power has been abused. All of the power... The power to control your life, the, the power to control your emotional well-being, your energetic state, your spiritual state, to become a force to be reckoned with in order to stand up. When it's time to say no, you, stay, you say no. When it's time to stand up and defend yourself, you can defend yourself. When it's, when it's time to really step into that masculine role, that masculinity that everybody possesses inside of them, we all have masculine and feminine energy, in order to really have control of that masculine energy, me, I found it in the dark. That's where all, all of the power is. The power is found in the dark. The power is found in negativity. Through suffering, through pain, through adversity, through, through trials and tribulations and 
all of the heartache and and the the obstacles and hurdles and everything that we have to overcome in life is all meant to teach you something. It's all meant for a greater purpose. I do not believe light can be discovered without dark. If you think about it, where does light shine? Light shines in the dark. One needs to explore the dark in order to find the light. When you find the light, you truly flourish and you st- and you truly see things for what they are. You sh- you see it for what it is. There is no other way around it. You see it for what it is. You become fearless. Not necessarily fearless. You you identify that there's still fear inside of you, but you no longer allow it to control you. You no longer shun from it. You no longer look the other way. You take it on as a responsibility. You, you, You look at it and you run directly at it because on the other side of what we fear is how we can truly flourish. It's how we can spread our wings and fly away. This is all for a reason. They want you, they, they use it for manipulation, control. They, they, want, they want fear inside of everybody. It's fear because what you fear, it dims your mindset. It dims your consciousness to where you listen to anything. Oh, oh I'll fear that. Okay, well, what do I do? 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 It's you become so accustomed and you, you become so trapped with this fear mindset that it's just like um, anything that, Anything that challenges you, you run in the opposite direction. Why do you think celebrities, why do you think the people who are truly up at the top, who truly flourish, they, they, they promote selling your soul, 666, the Illuminati, the symbols, the one eye, the all seeing eye, um, all, all, of this, all of this satanic stuff. It's for a reason. I'm here to say in my heart and my experiences the messages that have been revealed to me. The ruler of this realm, the ruler of this physical world is Satan, is Lucifer. It's, my, it's what I believe. It's what I've seen. Does that make him God? No. Does that make him the ruler of all rulers? No. But it's for a reason. If you really step back and look at this from a different perspective, what type of world do we live in? There's a lot of negativity. There's a lot of hate and discrimination, wars, poverty. The food in America is poor, right? But they make poor food, terrible food. So what? You get sick. And when you get sick, what do they do? They treat you to pharmacies. That's all. Pharmaceutical companies are a trillion, a trillion dollar company. It goes on. The list goes on. There has been so much that has been hidden from us. Years upon years, from the Vatican, the popes, the priests, the churches, temples. It's all, it's all been out of, it's, 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 we've been lied to. We've been lied to. <coughs> Excuse me. Whether you're aware of it or not, the people who are in charge, the people who are, you know, the popes and People who run the Vatican and all of these top-notch religious so-called people, they really worship Satan. They do because he is the he is the ruler of this realm. But that doesn't mean that you should be afraid of it. That doesn't mean that you should fear it. Not at all. I had a Kundalini uh, experience and I, this controlled me for years. I was petrified, man. I was scared. I had no idea what I was running into. I, I, I had no idea what was going on, what was controlling me. I was so hyper focused, hyper vigilant, hyper fixated. Oh my God. I felt like I was on a billion milligrams of Adderall a day. I mean, I could not control this. It led to a lot of mental burdens, physical burdens, emotional burdens. I went so far down this, this hole that I was like, how could I ever escape it? I'm just getting deeper and deeper and deeper. But the more that I stayed calm and the more that I began to wake up to my fears and what I needed to walk away from and what I needed to change and how I really needed to take control of this energy over time, I learned how to basically burn this out of me. And when I learned how to burn this out of me by performing energetic rituals, I created this this art of alchemy where I learned how to alchemize the evil and the darkness inside of me by manipulating it with positivity, by manipulating it with, with, with light. With, with, with joy and compassion and empathy and love. Everything that I was once fearing, I had to welcome it with love. I had to welcome it with a sense of revival. I had to welcome it like, hey, there's no, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here. There's no reason for me to, to, to fear this. It's okay. It's just another version of me. 
We fear what we don't understand. What we fear what we don't understand. We fear what we don't know. So they want you to fear all of this, this darker side of who you are, because that is where the true power is. When you really learn how to harness that power, you can purify your chakras. You can purify your heart. You can purify your aura. You can purify your energetic state, your mental state, your emotional state, your physical state. Your whole life begins to change. You open yourself up to miracles and blessings. You open yourself up to source. You you, you transcend into the metaphysical, esoteric, supernatural world. You step into the unknown. That's where all of the possibilities are. This is where we become limitless. This is where we become infinite. This is where everything becomes so alive. You become alive. I believe that life is a prize, but to live doesn't mean you're alive. That's Nicki Minaj. She said that in a song, but it's so true. It's so true. I think in order to become alive, in order to really step inside and, and become energetic and become alive and like, oh my God, life is good. I'm going after anything. Nothing can stop me. I'm fearless. Because you realize that in order to attract anything, you need to remove the fear. Fear is the blockage. Fear is what's controlling us. Fear is what stops us from, from living a complete, fulfilling, prosperous life. Law of attraction. You attract what you are. You are what you attract. If you have fear inside of you, you're going to attract nothing but fear. But if you remove that fear and you step into the dark world, because that's where what, it's what we mostly fear, when you transcend that, all you have room for is positivity. You attract nothing but positivity, blessings, and miracles. But what's keeping us down at a lower, dense vibrational level is the fear so of course if you look at celebrities like i said they promote all of this all of this evil behind it but in order to become truly harmonious and truly flourish with who you are you need to remove the fear that's why i say don't run from fear jump inside of it jump inside of it get acquainted with it what world what world are you living in we're all living in a different universe we all are what I believe, you may not believe. What you see, I may not see. What I've been through, you may not have been through. But at the same time, we're all trapped by fear. Fear is what runs this realm. It's fear. Everything is fear. When you live in fear, you, may, you don't make choices that are truly the best because our view is distorted. Our energetic state is distorted. Everything is distorted. So we end up getting lost. They tell you to run this way, that's back home, by idolizing Jesus, but it's in the opposite direction. I'm not saying Jesus is not a part of you. Jesus, aka positivity, positive light, the light is a part of you, but also the darkness is a part of you, aka Satan, Lucifer, he's also a part of you. You can't, you, you can't objectify to one side. In order to perform true alchemy, you need to step in both. And you need to manipulate the darkness with positivity. Welcome it with love and compassion and empathy. Everything that it's seeking. They tell you to, de to, to demonize this other side. But all this other, other, all the, all this other side wanted was just love and understanding. That's all it ever wanted. That's what it's for. That's what it's for. It taught me a lot about who I am. And it really taught me how to flourish and no longer be scared, man, because there's nothing to fear. Your mind plays these tricks on you, man, because it's what we have been programmed to believe. It's what we have been conditioned to believe. All the propaganda, everything's fear, man. It's fear. The day you look where you're not supposed to look is the day you can truly flourish. Everything's been made up. Everything's been made up. It's okay, though. It's all made up. It's all made up. This one big gigantic story that's been blown up out of proportion. That's all it is. That's all it is. On the other side of what we fear is love, is compassion and empathy and joy and positivity. What everybody is searching for is on the other side of that dark world. That is what it taught me. I learned how to treat people with respect and decency, compassion, how to, how to really understand other people's perspective and where they're at in life, you know, their life, what they went through. I don't make it all about me, 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 I, I, I. It's not my way or the highway. I, I cannot tell you what I've been able to transcend inside of me. I've been reborn multiple times and I'll continue to be, re be reborn. But the only way that I was able to be reborn was stepping inside of that dark world. All right. I love you guys and peace and love.